What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at vapinginsider.com. Today, we're going to do an accessory review. Yes, we're going to go over the Go4 Vape build kit. I don't mind telling you right off the jump. This is a really impressive build kit. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Check this thing out. Comes in this nice box, right? And then you get this really nice case. It's like nylon, but it's kind of like a hard case. Almost reminds me of like the Oakley sunglasses hard case. Really, really nice. You got these rubber pull tabs right here, and you also have a handle to hold it with, right? And the zippers are really nice. The action on the zippers is just beautiful. And then check this thing out, man. Check out how it opens up. Look at this. I mean, wow. Check that out. Awesome, right? Let's go over this one section at a time, okay? So first in here, you get this pocket. You get this nice little go for vape like rag in case you get some juice all over the place like one of those satiny eyeglass rags like that type of rag all right really really nice i like it awesome job on that now check this out man you get this thing called the build tool monster this thing is absolutely awesome and it comes in all different types of colors let me show it to you man I mean, it's just freaking beautiful, and it feels so solid in the hand and so heavy. They just did a really nice job with it. Check that out, man. Now, what this is, is this is a build stand and a coil measuring tool with all of the markings around the side. See that? You got a stainless steel threading over there for your 510, and then you got all the coil cut markings around the sides. It goes up to eight millimeters. So it goes from three millimeters all the way around to eight millimeters. And this thing's heavy, man. Listen to this. This thing is heavy, man. It's awesome. It's a great build stand, especially. I like the fact that it's thin and it's portable and you can carry it in the case. They just, it's just ingenious. And like I said, it comes in a bunch of different colors. Let's bring the case back into the picture again, okay? So now, over here, they give you a set of rather nice coils, okay? With some cotton, some aglets, all right? So that's a nice throw in, I like that. These are alien coils, all right? So nice job on that, I do like that. That's a nice feature. You also get this awesome screwdriver now you can see the screwdriver's got some nice texture, okay? It's one of these screwdrivers that take bits. This part does spin, but if you pop it out, it's got some O-rings, right? You pop it out like that, and the O-rings are actually kind of tight, but not too tight that it prevents it from spinning. You also have these other bits. You have a Phillips head, and you have two hex keys. I believe they're 1.3 and 1.5 but I'll check that for you. So see right there, you have your Phillips. I believe that's 1.5 and that's 1.3 as far as hex keys go. And I already have the flat head installed. So that's really, really nice. We're gonna put them back in there. They store in there just like that. And then you just pop the top back on like that. Really nice screwdriver that has a precision feel to it. I love the cutouts and everything. I've been using the hell out of this screwdriver. Next in the kit are these wire cutters right here. They are spring-loaded. I do like that. You have some nice rubber material over here so you can get a good grip. They do have a nice feel to them. They do cut beautifully. You can see you have a nice flush edge over there so you can really get in nice and tight and clip those leads. And like I said, they got a real nice feel to them. They feel like a nice quality set. Next, we have the scissors. You can see they're nice pointy scissors. I like that, smart job. They're actually very comfortable and they cut cotton very well. They got a nice, I don't know if you can hear that. You hear that? They got a nice snip to them. They really do. No problems cutting the cotton and because they're pointy, you could also use the scissor to tuck your cotton in or comb it out a little bit. I like that. Great job, go for vape. Next is the needle nose pliers. See them right there? Same thing as the wire cutters. They are kind of like, like spring-loaded, right? They do snap back. 
They are needle nose pliers, but they do have a little bit of a curve to them. That curve comes in very handy and works very well in building situations. Again, just feels like a nice quality piece. Let's go over some of the other stuff included in the kit. On this side, we have a wire brush. Now, one thing I'm a little disappointed in, I wish they would have went the coil master route and made this wire brush like a coiling rod with the different sizes on it, but they didn't. Maybe it's because coil master has a patent on it. I don't know that, but this is just a brush. I guess you could use this part as a coiling rod if you wanted to, but this is just a stainless steel brush. It's got a nice cover. When you're not using it, you put it back away. So you have your coiling rods over here. This would be the smallest at 1.5, and then it goes up in 0.5 increments all the way up to your biggest size, which would be four millimeters. So that's kind of cool. It goes up from 1.5 in 0.5 millimeter increments. I do like that. Next would be your ceramic tweezers. I mean, anybody who builds knows these things are a godsend. They got a nice feel to them. This is the ceramic part right here. If they come a little loose, you can tighten them up with a Phillips head screwdriver. I do like that. I like the bend in them. These things are important to any builder because the ceramic allows you to scrape your coil and get the hot spots out while you're firing. I love these tweezers. They've become my favorite. Next are your regular metallic tweezers. Again, a very important piece to anybody who builds every day. They're curved and pointy. They let you comb out your cotton. They also let you grab your cotton and get them into those tight spaces when you're wicking. I like these tweezers. They're well done. And last but not least, you have your coiling rod tools right here. These are the parts that you actually stick the rods into, and then you use this part to wind your coil. Let me show you how to use this. So you unscrew this part right here. You stick your rod in there like that. This goes over it. Make sure it's nice and secure, right? And then what you would do is when you're ready to wind your coil, you take your coil you know, your straight wire, and you'd put it on here. You take this part and make sure that screw right there sticking up catches the wire, and then you could just wind your wire just like so, okay? I never use these things. Most of the times I just hand wrap, but some people find these things easy to use. They did include a nice one in this set. So there we go. Once again, you got your base with your cutting tool. You got your rag. You got your screwdriver, your flush cutters, your needle nose pliers, your pointy scissors. You have your coil brush, your individual coiling rods, ceramic tweezer, metal tweezer, coiling tool. All fit together nicely, just like so, in a beautiful case. All right, insiders, you saw everything up close and personal. Because of that, there's really no reason for me to go over pros and cons on this thing. I figured we'll just talk about it for a little bit. I got to say, man, I'm extremely impressed with the tools in this kit. I'm impressed with how well thought out it is. I mean, they thought of everything in this kit. It is super, super complete. Very, very impressive. I like the way they nailed everything and put everything together in one little package. It is without a doubt an awesome build kit. I got to be honest with you, man. Uh, you know, before I got this kit, I was using mostly coil master stuff. Since this kit has come, I've been using this kit most of the time. I absolutely love this kit. It is deuces jack approved for sure. If I had the bottom line this thing, all I can tell you is check out the link down below. Go pick yourself up one of these kits if you don't have one or if you're looking to replace an older kit. Thanks for watching the video, Insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out.
Deuces. Deuces.